hey, fancy meeting you here. We should totally hang out. Look, my straw changes color. Listen, I know that a lot of you are getting sick of watching these videos, and I'm here to tell you today that this is it. This is the last one. This is the big it. Maybe the last one for all time. So then, obviously the question you have to ask yourself is how does it change color? No, the question that you have to ask myself, or I have to ask myself, is what do I tell, what do I do for the final video? Do I tell you jokes about sodium? Nah. Do I tell you about the book I was reading about healing that I just couldn't put down? <laughs> Truth is, I'm actually not having a great day. I know it looks like I'm having an awesome time, but I'm not. I, I'm, somewhere on my way over here, I lost some electrons. I'm pretty positive, anyway. Oh, I could show you pictures of my pandemic home improvement project. I'm actually pretty good at framing and drywall, but most people are shocked to find out that I'm not a very good electrician. <laughs> I suppose now would be a good time to confess that even though I'm a chemistry teacher, I don't actually trust atoms. I mean, those things make up everything. Normally at this time uh, of the semester, the school year, I would be giving you exam advice, like avoid drinking water because water decreases concentration. <laughs> Instead, I'm at home, spending my afternoons washing my car with my son. He keeps telling me to use a sponge. And that, you're welcome, is most of the chemistry jokes that I would have told you had we been in class, and a couple of dad jokes. I know that this is not how any of us thought the semester would go. And I, for one, would have much preferred to be in the classroom. Uh, I want to thank you for your hard work. I want to, uh, over the past 10 weeks, it's been a pretty crazy time and um, a lot of you worked very very hard to make this work and I will tell you that there were a few things uh, that I didn't think would work very well at all uh, doing it outside of a classroom setting but you made them work well um, I would have done them anyway let's be honest but you actually made it work uh, so I do want to thank you for that um, I should also be thanking some parents, um, a lot of parents, and to say also that hopefully my demands on them uh, for doing this together, uh, hopefully those demands were manageable. If not, I'm sorry. Sort of. Not really. I would have done it anyway. The good news is that we actually got to all of the important topics. So in terms of working ahead, uh, or sorry, not working ahead, but moving on to whatever comes next, um, there's not a whole lot of gaps. The bad news is that we missed out on some of the things that I think are really fun, uh, which are topics that where chemistry and everyday life uh, intersect and where um, it, there, there's, to me, this sort of more interest or more interesting things. There's also some of those questions that I like for to, to, to get people to, you know, use a noodle and dig a little deeper and really get thinking about stuff. I know that for some of you, this will be the last chemistry course you ever take for all time. And that's okay. But let me leave you with two thoughts. Number one, I enjoyed your company. I really did. Um, you know, as, as much as I'm one of those introverts that is not finding staying at home to be a uh, big of a challenge at all. Oh, I can't go out? Bummer. Despite that, I really did enjoy your company. Um, I got to know some of you. Uh, I got to know some of you better. Uh, some not so well yet, but you know, that's, that's how it goes. Um, but I did uh, and, and enjoy having you in class. Second, Chemistry really is everywhere. It's not something that I just say and talk about. It really is everywhere. And I encourage you to look for it. I encourage you to wonder about it. And the history of civilization, the history of society, is really very much uh, tied to the history of chemistry. As one advances, so does the other. Whatever September looks like for any of us, I wish you well. And th again, thank you for your hard work. 
One final test question. What's a pirate's favorite letter? You would think that it's R, but actually, they're a big fan of C. Take care.